So the first step is to install R on your computer. I'm working on a Windows system here. A Mac's going to be different. I can't help you with a Mac, um, but I have provided a link on YouTube to somebody else who shows how to install it on a Mac. It should be fairly straightforward. Here is the uh, latest version of R, which I just downloaded. We're going to be working with 2.15.2. So, of course, just double click it. And I'm going to allow it to make changes. Of course, I want English. And pretty much we're going to just accept all the defaults. So we'll just next. Um, it's freeware. That's all that says. I'm going to have it install into that location. Uh, again, I'm just taking all the defaults. I have a 64-bit version of Windows. And so that's what I use. But if you only have 32-bit, of course, 64-bit won't do you any good. And yeah. Um, do I want to customize the startup options? No. Let's just take all the defaults, hit next. It's going to create a start menu folder. Um, I do want a desktop icon, and you can go ahead and leave these checked. And now it's going to extract and then install, and that's um, basically all there is to it. So I guess the big question people would have is, do I need to change any of the settings when I install? And in my opinion, no. Later on, you may want to play with those, but I don't think I've ever changed them. So this should work fine. And we'll go ahead and hit finish. And here, whoops, is my desktop icon for the 64-bit version of R. I double click and it's installed. And whenever you close R, it's always going to ask if you want to save your workspace image. That's not important, so always just say no. And that's it. So let me know if you have any questions.